data exchange using Acumatica contract APIs. Acumatica provides robust APIs so you can communicate with external systems using two primary mechanisms. In this demonstration and video, we'll be showing the contract-based RESTful APIs. RESTful APIs have advantages in that they are contract-based, which means that you can upgrade Acumatica, change screen design, and make other changes without impacting the APIs that you've already created. The screen-based APIs are older, but they're still used for many different things. They are each linked to an Acumatica screen. To set up the system, we go to the Web Service Endpoint screen. Inside Acumatica, you can see the web service endpoint. You can pick a default, you can extend it, and you can even pick a version for your endpoint. In this case, we'll be using different endpoints. We'll be using the contacts, will be one that we'll show, as well as the billing. Within the bill, you can see the different fields, and we're going to actually need to create line items within the bill. So you'll be able to drill down into that as well and see fields that are associated with the billing details. Another advantage of contract-based APIs is you can use Postman as a tool to set up and test these rapidly. Before I actually go in and build a website and do the C-sharp coding, I will use Postman to test my API examples. If you don't want to set up something from scratch, we have a sample website that you can use that's easy to install. You can get started by going to the Acumatica portal. Within the pre-sales section, there's this option to set up a demo environment. If I scroll down to the bottom, you can see there's where all the snapshots are, but we have a website that's pre-configured for web services API demonstrations. I'm going to grab this one here to begin the demonstration. After I've downloaded the package, I'll copy my zip contents and put them into a new file folder. Now I've got a project that's ready to go. So let's go ahead and open up Visual Studio. And I'm going to open up the project. Now inside the project, you can see that there's a couple of screens that I have. Uh, contact, as well as vendor bill where I've added API calls. If you need to, you can replace this information with the login information that you're using for your particular site. I'm using a local instance in this case, but you can also connect to a cloud instance. Fire up. Now that I've opened up my website, let's go to the home page first. This is just a very simple website with a few links. I'm going to go ahead and log in. There's a separate database that has logins. This login name is strategically set so that it matches one of my vendor accounts. So now if I want to go in and submit a bill, you'll see this is already filled. And I'll create a bill for $20, make, pick a due date, and submit it. This will log in, submit the bill to Acumatica via APIs, and give me a hopefully confirmation screen. Once I've done that, I can go enter another bill, but let's show something else. Uh, we'll go into the contact form. And I'll submit a lead. So now to check our work, let's go into the site itself. First, let's take a look at our bill. So you'll see here's my bills and adjustments. And you'll see here's the one that's on hold. And you see that I've created the he header as well as one line item which contains the amount. The vendor is linked to the vendor that's in my separate database on my website. I can also look at the lead that I created. Let's search for Johnson. Oh, there's two of me in here. And you can see that this was submitted according to the specifications that I set up here. So my contact form includes that information as well as here's where the vendor bill came in. So this is just one example of how Acumatica is able to efficiently and quickly allow you to integrate a website with information directly into your ERP system. For more information about Acumatica, visit our website or contact an Acumatica partner.